going. Testing, testing. Is that working? Can you guys hear me on the other side? Excellent. Thank you all so much for coming here today to stand up against the federal crackdown on medical marijuana. I want to say a special thank you today to the folks from the Human Solution and from Riverside from the Marijuana Anti-Prohibition Project who brought a busloads of people here for this protest. Thank you so much. My name is Don Duncan. I'm the California Director of Americans for Safe Access. We're here today to tell the Obama administration to stop attacking patients' access, to stop raiding collectives and cooperatives, to stop uh, threatening property owners, to stop closing bank accounts, to stop making it hard for us to implement our state law and to provide the safe access that the voters demanded in 1996 when they adopted Proposition 215. Yeah. The truth is that every single day, Proposition 215 is a reality in the lives of sick people, people suffering from cancer and AIDS and multiple sclerosis and chronic pain and other serious conditions. Yeah. Those people need safe access, and we can't let them demonize and stigmatize us and take away that access. We can't let that federal campaign succeed. And so you're a part right now of a nationwide effort to push back and stop the attack on medical cannabis. Yeah. Early in his administration, President Obama made a commitment. He said that he would not use federal resources to circumvent our state law. We had a promise of a more enlightened federal policy for the first time in the history of this nation. And over the last two years, we've been slowly rolling that back. The federal government has been encroaching on states' rights, they've been encroaching on patients' access, and they've been using the, the bully pulpit of the federal government to demonize us and stigmatize us. And now they've overplayed their hands, and they're slowly trying to roll back Proposition 215 here in California. And we have to let them know that patients and caregivers here in California will not tolerate the overturning of our state proposition. Our voters chose medical marijuana. This statewide effort uh, is, a, is a coalition effort of organizations, of individual activists, of people all over who are saying no to the Obama administration's efforts to roll back safe access and to take away the ground we have gained for patients and for their loved ones. And so it's so important that you show up for events like this, that you're part of the political process. It's so important that they hear again from the patients who made this uh, movement possible, who made the uh, uh, safe access possible in California. We have to put that face right back at the front of this story so that people understand that an attack on access is an attack on medical cannabis patients. When Prop 215 passed, I thought that our state and local governments would work with patients to set up some kind of a medicinal marijuana distribution system. Unfortunately, we don't have one. This is now 15 years of fighting, bickering, and criminal prosecution. Hardly a day goes by that I wonder when will this cease. It's been going on much too long. Our local officials and the police have brought federal law enforcement to California and they are threatening to seize property and put people in jail. Patients are distraught. I've been a nurse for over 50 years and have seen many, many cases where people did benefit from using medicinal marijuana. With my 50 years of experience, I know it works. Of course, it worked with my husband. At the time when he was using it, it was illegal. He took it when he went for chemo. He lived a full life for the whole year before he died of kidney shutdown. So I am an experienced wife. I know it works. But we want an appointment with our President Obama. We yeah. want I would like to speak to him about the promise that he made when he was campaigning because most of us voted for him thinking this would go away. So possibly he will hear us or at least if I can talk to President Obama, someone that he authorizes to meet with us, sit down and discuss what can we do to stop this not only in our state, but in all of the other states that have now legalized the use of medicinal marijuana. Thank you all for your support. Please keep it up. We love you, Anna! Hey, Sam, Sam, will you take a picture?
Thank you, Anna. Stay right here. The, Anna has a letter addressed to President Obama asking for that meeting. You know, we have a lot of problems in this country right now with joblessness, with people losing their homes, wars and conflicts going on across the world, climate change, horrible deficit, and look at the amount of money and time we are spending on going after medical marijuana patients in states that have allowed it. Our president is supposed to be the great compromiser, you know, the person that tries to work with everybody. He sent emissaries all over the world to talk with some of the worst dictators out there. But he won't sit down and talk with us. 16 states in the District of Columbia, over 25% of the United States now has medical marijuana laws in their, in their states, and it's time we sat down and straightened it out, and that's what the president's supposed to do. He is supposed to bring us together so we can work things out, and we don't have to go to court, and we don't have to have police come in here busting our heads open. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna T. Boyce. God bless you. And thank you, Lanny. They're going to walk up the street a short ways to make their voices heard. We're going to stay right here in front of the federal building and make our voices heard. Because while the U.S. Attorney's Office is not in this building, guess who is? The DEA. They're right up there at the top of the building. They're probably looking down here, and we want to make sure that they hear our voices and that they know that we are not happy about our gardens and our cooperatives and our collectives being raided by federal officials.